The other <laughs> important thing <clears throat> that I would say, something that Nick Joaquin always espoused, is to carry your teachers on your backs. To carry what you've learned on your backs. Nothing is original. Nothing, it, what, no, nothing anybody can do now is new. Diba? It's the way you're saying it. And number two, technique. Refine your technique. A lot of people think art is of the moment, of the emotion. Let's go back to the basics. Technique. What are the things that have worked? Read. Read. Read the old. A lot of... This is funny because in pop culture especially, pop culture, they reference things so easily because of the internet. Gagayahin ko yan, gagayahin ko yan, gagayahin ko yan. Without knowing, <clears throat> saan ba nanggaling yun? Sa ano bang pinagmula nito? Ano ba to? Uh, your your passion for bye bye Howie. Let's talk about that. Your passion mm-hmm. for bye bye and the way you're bringing it back. A lot of people will use bye bye just for design. Diba? Just for the design purpose. But the biggest challenge is investing yourself in knowledge of what it is. And for me, that's important. Whether or not you're collecting. Whether it's collecting, it's creating, it's what. Know what the context is. Go deeper into it. We, la- we like to think it's a design. I like it. I'll put it on my t-shirt. I'll, I'll use it as a tattoo. I'll, diba? But that's I'm not condemning it. That's the entry. That's the entry point. You have your foot in the door. Young Filipinos, you have your foot in the door. Open the door. Go find more about it. Bakit? Ilang forms ng baybayin sa Pilipinas? Hindi lang yung nakikita natin. Ang dami-dami. Sino pa ang gumagamit ng baybayin sa Pilipinas? Mangyan, Palawanon. Ang dami pa. You know, and then that continues to open us up always to new way. Anyway, rather than just um, creating and creating, ano yung kwento nun? Ano yung, sino yung taong gumawa nito? Anong ibig sabihin ng motif na yan? Your, your audience may not get it, but you as an artist, you as a creator, you will understand and you will use it respectfully because you understand. I, I love see, go, going through Facebook and just reading what young people are thinking. Because these are the young Filipinos who will take the vestiges of traditional culture into the future. Well, that, that kind of triggered a thought no? about, about Wang Od, no? uh, the tattoo artist in Kalinga. Of course, she's being celebrated. She's now put on this Vogue, the Vogue cover, fabulous the magazine Vogue cover, cover. Oh, oh, ng, ng Vogue. Uh, and, um, but there's also been some debate no, about, about this co- about so-called cultural appropriation by others no, of, yeah. of this traditional art. No? Is there a limit okay. to what we can do with, with her art, her, her craft? If you look at the most popular of ta- tattoo of Wang O, the most popular is really just her signature. The three dots, mm. that's the most popular. And that has nothing to do with uh, which one. Okay, I have a question though, and this has always bothered me when I see young Filipinos, when I see friends wearing Kalinga warrior tattoos. That that bothers me. Why? Number one, to wear a tattoo like that in traditional society, headhunter ka. Highly ritualized violence. May pinagdadaan ng ritual yan, may pinagdadaan ng proseso. But are you... Worthy of that? There, that, that question. Again, as a na yan eh. I may like it for the design, the 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 Kalinga warrior sleeve. I, I see that on a lot of young Filipinos, the Kalinga warrior full sleeve. But at the same time, if you knew what that entailed in traditional society, and then may may growth din, may growth trajectory din yan eh. from headhunter to pangat peace pact holder. So nakikita mo yung kabuuan ng pagkatao nila the, the ideal path that in traditional Kalinga society you would have taken from a young headhunter who had taken heads and proved his valor all the way to maturity as a pangat um which what which Macling Dulag was peace pact holder negotiating peace mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. yung mga ganun doon medyo iffy ako I, I'm a bit iffy about that but the little tattoos the three dots go ahead we, we're forgetting also those. There are other sides of the cultural spectrum. Now she should never have done that. She should never have given these tattoos out to outsiders. But we don't know how Wang Od has sustained her village, has sustained her family. It's again a matter of economics. Eh? And dami, she has sustained that you know, taught and sustained and popularized. The onus of learning is on us. Are we up to it? Of course, she said at the same time, napaka mercantile ng Cordillera culture. Nothing bad about that. The Ifugaos have always been traders. The Kalinga have always the trading culture. Eh. So, can, are mm-hmm. you stopping them? No. If somebody wants to pay for it, yes, go ahead. 
But the onus is on us to understand what we are putting on our bodies.